Hello, my name's Leon Kuhn. I'm a political cartoonist and I'll be doing a regular cartoon for The Real Deal. The dramatic events that have taken place in Gaza over the last few weeks provide the subject for my cartoon this week. Okay, I've prepared this blank canvas and I found this image of two hands which I'm going to use in the cartoon. I'm going to drag the image, drop it onto my canvas like that. Let's get rid of it. And then I'm going to use the scale tool to enlarge the hands. In an attempt to gloss over a major setback to its plans in the Middle East, the US and its allies have tried to paint Hamas's recent takeover of Gaza as a military coup and have raised the prospect of a Taliban state on Israel's doorstep. I found this photo of Mahmoud Abbas and uh, I'm going to be using it in the cartoon. Nothing could be further from the truth. What is clear is that Hamas, the democratically elected Palestinian government, have prevented an attempted military takeover sponsored by the US and its Israeli and Egyptian allies. Once the game was up, Bush and Rice and the Israelis with what looked like unseemly haste, rushed to embrace Mahmoud Abbas, the Palestinian president, and his Fatah party, now removed to the West Bank. They promised to lift the siege and to hand over some of the tax revenues worth hundreds of millions of dollars that they've been sitting on as a collective punishment of the Palestinian people for not voting the way Bush and Rice wanted. If you look at the picture in the window there, you can see what happens to it when I apply the filter. That will do for the moment. Now I'm going to carry on working on the face and when you come back you'll see my progress. Hello again. As you can see, I've been working on the face of Abbas and I'm now just going to put it to one side for the moment. I'm going to do some work now on Condi's face using a filter called Liquify. This filter allows me to move the pixels around in any direction I want. So I'm going to start just build up a caricature of her. Encouraged by Israel's withdrawal from Gaza, Hamas, which was formed in 1988 as the Islamic resistance movement, put up candidates at the legislative elections in 2006 and they won because of the deep discontent with Fatah. In response, the US and its allies organised an international boycott while Israel laid siege to Gaza and kidnapped Hamas MPs and ministers in an attempt to crush them. In April this year, Israel transferred a million rounds of ammunition to Palestinian Authority troops 
while 500 highly trained Fatah fighters crossed from Egypt into Gaza. It was now only a matter of time before Fatah launched a coup against Hamas. With Hamas failing to crumble, the US insisted that Abbas stage a coup against the Hamas government. I'm going to select around the face. Mahmoud Abbas has announced from the West Bank a new Palestinian government headed by a US educated technocrat who was the International Monetary Fund's representative to Palestine in 2001. Fatah has been transformed from an organisation that once proudly fought against Zionism and imperialism into an organisation that polices its own people in their service. Palestinians are trapped between a hostile Egyptian dictatorship and a murderous Israeli state. The pressure of the growing movement in Egypt to topple the dictator Mubarak would, if it succeeded, be a serious blow for US imperialism and could be the beginning of a process that could lead to the liberation of the Palestinian people.